In this video, we will show how Cisco Secure DDoS Edge Protection works using a recorded demo. Cisco Secure DDoS Edge Protection is an innovative solution that adds DDoS protection to Cisco IOS XR routers to provide scalable, cost-effective DDoS defense for today's hyperscale distributed networks. The system we are using for the demo includes a single controller, implemented as a Kubernetes cluster, and 20 detectors which are defined in the system. To get traffic into the system, we are using a traffic simulator that generates traffic according to a scripted scenario that includes legitimate and attack traffic. We will start with the main dashboard of the product. On the left is the system menu. To save time, we will not go into all items, but briefly, we have protected objects. We will dive into this in the demo. As said before, it can support up to 10,000 objects, each representing a network segment that can belong to a connected customer. There is also a default protected object that is for all traffic not included in any other protected object. Attacks, mostly to view historic recorded attacks. Tasks, to aid the security team to perform high priority tasks in the system. Detectors, to view the detector internals and performance. We will cover the detector and the physical router in more detail later in this demo. Logs, showing logs from all system components and basic log statistics. Templates, these logical templates are used to aid in creation and batch editing of elements, such as detectors and protect objects, fast and error-free. Settings, to control the operational parameters of the system and provide fully automatic software lifecycle management for all components, including the detectors. For example, the system allows to perform remote installation, remote upgrade, canary testing and rollback. On the main dashboard, on the top left is a quick view of the protected objects in the system, in the top middle is total traffic divided by security activity, and on the top right is a quick view of the detectors. Going into one of the detectors dashboards we can see the following. On the top we can see for example that this detector related to a Cisco NCS540 router. Below that, we can see four graphs, the first showing overall traffic going into the router. The second, the number telemetry records sent from the router to the detector. The last two graphs show memory consumption and CPU utilization of the detector as reported by the router. Below are two tables, the first showing the ACL rules deployed in the router, and second shows the detector logs. The detector docker container is deployed on a physical NCS540 router. We can see through the router CLI the deployed container. Going back into the main dashboard, at the bottom of the main screen is a list of the protected objects, sorted so that protected objects under attack are at the top. In the demo we have created a scenario in which several of the protected objects are being attacked by multi-vector attacks, and we will show how these attacks are being detected and mitigated. Let's go see a protected object under attack. Here we see the protected object dashboard. A quick tour of what we see. On top is the protected object information. Below it, on the left, is the traffic going through the protected object. We can choose different time scales, view it either per protocol or security activity, and select packets per second, or bits per second. To the right of the graph, we see how the different routers in the system contribute to the traffic going into that specific protected object. Going down to the bottom of the screens we have two tables, the first with three tabs, top application, top talkers, and top destinations, lists by order from high to low traffic which is related to the protected object. The second table, alerts, lists the security alerts that are related to the specific protected object as these alerts received from different detectors deployed. These alerts are being processed by the controller to decide if this alert is a detection of an attack. Once the controller decides that specific alerts are attacks, it opens a detection event. On the bottom left of the main graph is the main security information table. Attacked IPs shows all the IPs in the PO that are under attack. Detections are the security events being detected. Mitigations are the actual mitigations carried out by the routers, blocking or rate limiting attack traffic. Traffic filters are static predefined thresholds used as safeguards for specific known attacks in case the quantile mechanism fails to detect. Polyser is a list of rules for blocking specific traffic from going into the protected object. Let's look at a specific attack. It is important to mention that besides the static T filters, we are using unsupervised machine learning algorithms that are extremely light, which enables it to be ported to run on a router without sacrificing the speed and accuracy of the detection and characterization of the attack. 
For each IP or IP range under attack listed here, there is also detection and possibly mitigation events. We can see the traffic graph on the right side of this specific attacked IPs. On the graph you can see total traffic going to the destination, malicious traffic, mitigated traffic and what is going to the IP under attack. Going into detection, we can switch to a table view to see the specific attack vectors that the system found for this detected attack. Now we mitigate the specific attack. The placement of ACL rules might take several seconds, mostly depending on how fast it takes for the routers to process the netconf command. After the ACL rules are placed, we can view the mitigations. Again, we have a similar view of the mitigated attack traffic in a graph and table. We can now also see the overall traffic going into the protected object with clean and mitigated traffic. Now we can see how this is all viewed on the detector and the physical router. In the ACL table of the detector we can see the actual ACL rules that were deployed to block the attack. Going into the NCS540 CLI, we can see how these ACL rules look like on the router. The system constantly monitors hits over the ACL rules. As attack traffic ends the ACL rules are cleared automatically. It is important to emphasize that we have developed and patented a few unsupervised machine learning algorithms that are being used here for detection and characterization of the attacks and the attack vectors. These algorithms are implemented in a very lean way, so we can easily fit in a container that can be deployed even on a router. In this video, we have given you a first view of how Cisco Secure DDoS Edge Protection works. To learn more and to bring up your specific questions, Use the request demo link on the cisco.com page and we will reach out to you to schedule time for a one-on-one -on -one follow-up.